Good afternoon, everybody. It's just after two o'clock, and I am off of work. And it's a beautiful day. It's kind of warm out, and the sun is shining, and the leaves are starting to change. And it is beautiful. And I'm going to enjoy every bitty, every single minute of this warm weather because Lord knows. Northern Ohio, it's not going to last. <laughs> yeah. Next week, there could be three feet of snow on the ground. Because we are crazy like that. And then the week after, it could be 70s again. <sighs> Love the lakes. Love the Great Lakes. They mess up all of our weather. Anyway. My name is Carrie. I am a nerd. I love history. I love Doctor Who and fantasy shows and some anime and all that kind of stuff. And I'm a writer. Soon to be published, hopefully, sometime. Uh, so that's why I use the named Nerd Writer Girl in my YouTube and my Facebook and everything. <laughs> um, uh, it's early October-ish. It's what, ninth? I better remember it's the ninth. It's my parents' wedding anniversary. I better remember the date. <laughs> um, and that means there are 23 days left before NaNoWriMo 2013. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been working on my outline for the past couple of days now and I've just bought some food and some cherry Pepsi and some candy corn and I'm going home to write and work on some more of my outline. Because that was what I did wrong the last time I did it a couple years ago. I just decided I'm gonna wing it. 50,000 words in a month. I can do it. Got the worst case of brain block ever. So I need to actually take some time and prepare. Some people can just wing it and pump out a fabulous story or even not a fabulous story just to get the word count. It can be 50,000 words of rambling mess. I maybe got 5,000 words last time. Pathetic. A tenth of the goal in 30 days. <laughs> so, I'm going to be a little more prepared this time. Um, I've got a great big three inch binder full of loose leaf paper. Uh, I've got pens of all kinds of colors for my notes, and I've got different dividers to, to split up my, uh, different things that I'm taking notes for. I've got my character, uh, profiles one, um, subdivided with other dividers, like the clear plastic sheet protector things, because I want to try and get, um, pictures to print off and have them as like what my characters look like, what, what they remind me of. So I'm going to have pictures and little sheet protectors to help divide the character profiles. I've got a world uh, building section. I've got um, the actual outline. Um, I've got a space to type to, for the typed manuscript when I get it done in the end of November. Um, meaning I'm going to owe my parents ink because that will be a lot of paper and ink. <laughs> so I'll have to buy my own paper and no ink and so then they won't joke me when I run, when I use up a whole cartridge. Um, I'm really excited about my story. I'm not going to give up too much about it except it's about a girl who um, is kind of shy and awkward and has a little bit of 
like self-esteem issues um, a lot like myself so it's kind of easy to write about um, and she goes on a bike ride with a friend who also happens to be someone that she's had a crush on for a number of years but because of her self-esteem issues she hasn't stepped up and asked them out um, so and somehow findings that you will have to see when you read the book um, they end up in this other world um, I, I'm making up my own world so I because I don't like to try and have that you, you can be a little more flexible if you create your own world instead of having a structure of an already existing historical place although I probably will be modeling my world off of real life places um, and maybe some fictional places that I've seen and uh, read about um, but um, so yeah so they end up at this place and um, they have to take care of each other and work together to get back home um, I have a couple directions I'm thinking about taking the story with some other little twists and sub stories and um, things of that nature but I again I don't want to reveal it because I don't even know if it's set in stone I don't even have a title set in stone yet because that's one of actually the, I'm good at getting the story down but the title I'm bad at so but I do know the basic theme is that if even if you have these self-esteem issues um, you can overcome anything, especially if you have a good support group. I know this from personal experience because when I was a kid, I was bullied a lot um, for my weight and being shy and awkward. Because shy and awkward in the schools that I went to usually meant weak. Um, so, um, I got picked out about, a lot about it. And there were days when I thought, you know, I can't do it. But, fortunately, my family is awesome. My friends are awesome. And I have this great support group that, um, you know, helped me along. And not a lot of kids have that. So I thought maybe, just maybe, if my story could help one little kid, um like think you know that there's hope in the world you can go overcome incredible obstacles even though you're getting picked on because you're overweight or shy or gay or you have a speech impediment or a physical or a mental handicap you can still do it especially if you have your friends and your family to back you up and if you don't, you can still forge on because life goes on and it gets better. And so, yeah, that's my little uh, tangent. Um, I also thought of this kind of theme being that it's um, October. A lot of schools and stuff focus on anti-bullying month. I think that's what it's called. Um, I know when I used to teach um, Sunday school at my church, I taught 5th and 6th grade kids. And that was the age that I got horribly, horribly picked on the worst. So I didn't want my kids to be the bully. And, I, if, and if they were the victim of bullying, I wanted to, them to know that, hey, I turned out okay. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. My 10 minutes is almost up, and I'm almost home. So, I'm going to go home and get some food, and then I'm going to put this up on my channel, and I'm going to post a whole bunch of links below for my fan fictions and my uh, NaNoWriMo uh, profile so you guys can buddy me. Um, and a little extra tidbit, a link to a comic that is drawn by a friend of mine 
She is a brilliant, brilliant artist and very talented writer. And the comic is called Scholar. And it's really, really good and very exciting. And she has a new page every single week up. So, have a good day, everybody. Bye.